Hey, Balsam. I, I know we didn't get what we hoped for, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road. We'll still find your parents. Well, maybe I'm better off not knowing. What does that mean? The, the more I search, the more wrong answers I get. Thinking Mitch Lawrence was my father should have told me something. That you don't share the same blood as that freak? That if I keep pushing my luck, I'm, just, I'm gonna keep getting burned. And that's not just me I have to think about. Believing Mitch was my dad put, put you in danger, Shane, Stacy. What happened to her? That wasn't your fault. I was the one that kept poking around. Mitch believed he was your father long before you stumbled onto that fake birth certificate. He was gonna force himself into your life whether you liked it or not. What about next time? What if my next dad turns out to be even worse? Not possible. Look, we'll find your parents, and whoever they turn out to be, we'll deal with it. I don't know. We're asking, maybe it's just time I gave up. Found it. What is it? This was hidden in the blanket you were bundled in when you were left here. I put it aside so no one would steal it while I was waiting for the state to pick you up. But then that Allison woman showed up and... You didn't want to give it to her? Well, it all happened so fast, I forgot. It's probably the one right thing I've done in this whole mess. Well, like we said, Allison is very dangerous. You might not be alive today if you had challenged her. I held on to this all these years, thinking that I might cross paths with you again. And now that I have, this is yours to take. Was there a note? I'm sorry. That's all I have. For what it's worth, uh, it seems to me that you turned out okay. I think that your parents, whoever they are, would be very proud. thinking about Clint and Kim. Me too. You know, I did think some nasty things. I did. I mean, come on. He proposed to an ex-stripper newly executive assistant. I mean, it just seemed like a big, huge reaction to you and me. Well, I know. I think most people thought the same thing. But then, you know, I ran into them a couple of times, and I gotta say that there actually seemed to be some sort of connection between the two of them. It was really quite sweet and real. And now it's gone. And there we are, shoving our happiness in his face. No, no, no. No, no, don't go there. Oh. Look, no. If we call off our engagement, I mean, that's not going to do anybody any good. It might buy Clint some more time. A time to do what? To sit around and think how much in love we are? I'm just feeling guilty all over again. I know. So am I, but if we if we postpone our wedding, I mean that's not gonna that's not gonna change anything. We put our lives on hold, we end up feeling miserable. And Clint's gonna end up feeling worse. So what do we do? We just forget about your brother? No. We move on. And we hope to God that Clint moves on with us. You know, we've both been through so much. So much since Jared died. And maybe it was just too much. Because I don't know if I am strong enough to live with the worry every single day that something might happen to make you drink again. I don't know if we've already tried our hardest and just failed. So you're, you're back to tell us that we have? Charlie, I, I came back here to tell you that walking away from you was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. And I would like to try again, if you're willing. You better get lost, do I? And miss out on all this, Ange? Mm. I'll have a white wine spritzer, please. Mind your own business. What evil plan of yours has misfired? What has brought you so low? Or 
Should I ask who? The one who's pushed down the stairs. What? Stairs? Does she does she know who pushed her? Uh, my, my heart is in there. Okay, she she fell down a flight of stairs. We don't, we don't know about the baby. How long ago did she fall? Uh, maybe half an hour. Marty is saying that she was pushed down the stairs. Who, who would do that? She's got minor contusions on her arms and legs, uh, some soreness as a result. I was just about to run a sonogram to check on the baby. Perfect. Thank you for taking such good care of my patient. I can take it from here. Sure, no problem. Marty, how are you doing? I don't know. Well, just try to relax, okay? Your baby takes its cues from you. It needs to feel like everything's all right. It will be. It'll be all right, no matter what. You ready?